Good day, YouTube friends. I'm just sitting and taking a little break. I'm doing a DIY project, and I'm going to share that with you, but I just needed to sit down for a few minutes because it's proving to be a rather difficult project. Look at how wilted everything is in this heat. This is what's what it's like every day. And this is just the morning heat. The hot sun hasn't even really hit this little part of the garden yet. Anyway, this video isn't about the garden. This is a something different. I just happen to be sitting in the garden. So I just wanted to say hello. This is Dale from whatever the weather may be. And I just wanted to read something to you. Um, it is a little poem called Whatever the Weather May Be. And it's where I've gotten the name for my channel from. It's a poem that I've been, I've read for most of my life. And um, it comes from an old book, a very old book, um, that was published in, well, the copyright says 1930 in the front of it. The little book is called Tony's Scrapbook from Anthony Wands. <clears throat> and I believe that Anthony Wands was a newspaper columnist or uh, some kind of a writer in the 1930s. And uh, this little scrapbook of his is a compilation of some of the things that he had in his, in his paper or in his writings or his column, whatever it was. Um, some are little, just little quotes from people, some are little poems, and um, I've had this book pretty much for 50 years. It was given to me, well, it wasn't actually given to me. It was in, in our little library at home. It was given to my parents from somebody cleaning out their house, I believe. And um, nobody read the book but me. And so I just sort of claimed it as mine, and I refer to it quite often. It's a, it's a great little book with lots of little lovely verses. So, <clears throat> whatever the weather may be, my name for my channel um, is a poem written by James Whitcomb Riley. Whatever the weather may be, says he, whatever the weather may be. It's plays, if you will, and I'll say, me say, supposin' today was the winterous day. Would the weather be changing because ye cried? Or the snow be grass? Were ye crucified? The best is to make your own summer, says he. Whatever the weather may be, says he. Whatever the weather may be. <clears throat> Whatever the weather may be, says he. Whatever the weather may be. It's the songs you sing and the smiles you wear that's a making the sun shine everywhere. And the world of gloom is a world of glee with the bird in the bush and the bud in the tree and the fruit on the stem of the bough, says he. Whatever the weather may be, says he. Whatever the weather may be. Whatever the weather may be, says he. Whatever the weather may be. Ye can bring the spring with its green and gold, and the grass in the grove where the snow lies cold. And ye'll warm your back with a smiling face, and ye sit at your heart like an old fireplace. And toast the toes of your soul, says he. Whatever the weather may be, says he. Whatever the weather may be. I've always just liked the words of that. And I like the way it was written. It's sort of a, a slangy kind of tone. So this is Tony's scrapbook. It's just a tiny little book. Very small. It was given to the dad from dad at Christmas 1931. I don't know who dad was and which dad it gave to, but... Um, this is Tony at work. 
Oh, I'm wrong. Compiled radio editions of 1927 to 28 to 29. It's one of my favorite little books. And it has a lot of lovely little poems. Oops. Anyway, um, that's where I got the name for my channel. And it fittingly, it is very fitting for me. Our weather changes so much around here. Snow, heat, and life goes on, whatever the weather may be. So I'm going to take you over and show you my frustrating project. So this is what I'm working on. It's an old window. I purchased two of these old windows for $10. They were taking them out of a church, a little old church in the in our town. And uh, the first one was not in as rough shape as this one is in. Um, and it didn't have this here thing. This must have been um, a storm window, I'm thinking. And this obviously was the outside because it's, it's in kind of rather bad shape. Anyway, the first window, um, I've cleaned it up and I have it hanging in my living room. And my intention for that one is to spray it with the mirror spray so that it turns it into a mirror. However, I haven't been able to find a mirror spray around here anywhere. So I'm just waiting till we go to the city in a couple of weeks. And I'm hopefully I can come across a couple of cans so that I can um, turn that one into a mirror. This one. I want to use as a headboard for my spare room and I I want it to be this way on the wall so I don't want this thing on it but I'm having a dickens of a time getting it off and I can't find where there's any uh, nail holes so I'm thinking it's glued and I don't know what it could have been glued with so what I'm doing is I'm trying to loosen whatever is holding it on here with a chisel and a hammer and it's not going well as you can see it's still really firmly on there so I don't quite know what I'm going to do because I, I don't want it in this aspect anybody have any ideas how to get this off of here I've I've been loosening or trying to loosen it loosen it from this angle and now I'm just trying to break the seal all along this angle I don't know wish me luck but it's already getting a little bit too hot in here out here my shade is, is leaving me so I think what I'm going to do is <clears throat> set it down in a safe place and come back in the evening when I'm not too hot to work on it. I don't want to break the glass. This glass on this side is losing all its putty and stuff like that. So this isn't the side I want. I want the other side to face out, but it won't lay flat against the wall as long as this piece is on here. And as you can see, it's quite a substantial piece and it's going to really kind of muck things up for me. So hopefully I can get that off. And then I'm just going to rough up this side, turn it over, and the other side is in much better shape. My intention for the piece over the bed is to turn this into a frame. So I have a lot of picture, really nice old black and white photographs of of a lot of different things in the family and I have enough old black and white photographs of some of the old family homes and homesteads and things like that so 
my idea was to put one in each square. So basically this is going to turn into a frame. Um, and I want it to have pictures behind the glass. And I could probably, and I'm, I'm thinking what I might do is I can change the pictures around when I get tired of having a certain set of pictures and I'll change the theme. Um, for instance, Christmas time, I have a lot of family photos, different Christmases, different family. I could really turn this into sort of a memory window. So that's my idea for this piece. And so I think I'm going to cut this short because I'm very warm. And I just wanted to share that little project with you. And hope, hopefully maybe I can show it to you on the wall finished if I can get it, get it, get that piece off of there. I'm not going to give up trying, that's for sure. So from whatever the weather may be, Catch you later. Have a great day, everyone. Bye for now.